everybody. So here I am. Uh, sorry, I gotta fix my phone. Sorry, we had a little bit of technical difficulties today. But today we are making the s'mores cake from the uh, Pampered Chef recipe. And we're gonna be using a couple tools, so I'm gonna talk through those real quick and then we're just gonna get dive right into it. Um, for those of you that join me every once in a while um, for the for the live show, um, I've decided to start calling this Whip It Up Wednesday, even though it's Thursday, but you know, you know how I do. So, um, one thing that I haven't quite figured out, so if anybody out there knows how to do it, is when I use my iPad to film this, which is what I'm doing today, because for some reason on the PC it's not working anymore, um, I can't actually see your comments. So I'm going to be bopping between my iPad and uh, the PC so I can maybe check in on some comments. So today, um, the recipe is a s'mores cake, and it's basically a Dutch chocolate, or German chocolate, sorry, German chocolate cake, an egg, sour cream, chocolate, so we've got some Hershey's chocolate here. So today, um, the recipe is... So we've got some Hershey's chocolate here, and some graham crackers to put on top, and I'll show a couple of our neat things. Um, the recipe calls for a small amount of the batter. So it's one and two thirds cup of the, um, of the actual cake mix. So I'm mixing it in our bowl and I've got a small mix and stir scraper. And this is actually a guest special. So if you spend more than $75 with me, uh, this month, then you'll be able to purchase one, or not purchase, but you get this for free for just spending $75. So I guess it's not quite free. Um, so we've got the one and two thirds cup of this. We've got three Hershey's chocolate bars. Um, so you see the squares. I already broke those up. And then I'm trying to go light. You know, it's, it's a cake, but uh, we've got some sour cream here and it's an eight ounce thing of sour cream. And then one egg and a 10 ounce bag of marshmallows. And the very first thing I'm supposed to do is preheat my broiler. One of the cool things that I absolutely adore about this, um, so this is our everyday rock crock. It is a ceramic uh, cooking dish. It goes in on top of the stove, it goes in the oven, it goes in the microwave, it goes underneath the broiler. It also goes out on the grill, which is awesome. But the best part about it if those of you who own our stoneware, the best part about this is the fact that it can go in the dishwasher because it's a glazed ceramic instead of the exposed stone like our other stoneware. The other thing that I really like about it is you can't really see because I have everything else in the way, but this is my brand new amazing, um, what's this called? Oh, toaster oven. And the everyday pan actually fits in the toaster oven with the door closed. So I don't even have to worry about setting up my big old oven and getting everything hot. So especially in the summer or right now in Arizona, hence you seeing me in my um, very sporty uh, top. <laughs> it's really hot in my house and I didn't feel like turning on the AC in February. It doesn't really make a lot of sense. So um, I want to say hi to Sam and Amanda and Cassie and Jeremy and Richard. Uh, thank you guys for watching. So we're going to be making the s'mores cake from the Pampered Chef using the everyday rock crop. So according to the recipe, the first thing I do is microwave. So this is our silicone prep bowl. It comes in two cups, four cups, and one cup. And I just pointed at something that you can't see on the screen. That's going to be the next treat that I'll show you. So we're going to microwave this for 30 to 60 seconds on high. And one of my tricks with microwaving, if you have a turntable, um, I like to actually not put it in the middle of the turntable. You put it kind of on the edge of the turntable and it gets kind of that even distribution all the way around. Hi Sherry, thanks for joining. Alright, so while that's in there, we are going to combine the cake mix, the egg, and the sour cream. So, again, one of our um, sterling silver, or sterling steel um, bowls. And we're going to combine this with the sour cream. If I can get it to open. I probably should have opened it ahead of time. There we go. And this is in place of the oil and the water. Um, kind of gives it a nice rich texture. 
So we're just going to put 8 ounces in there. And funny little thing about me, I'm actually allergic to chocolate. But, in typical female ways, I love cooking with it. So, I still end up making a lot of chocolate stuff and then guys at work, um, or gals at work, get to taste it out. So, I cannot tell you how this tastes. Um, I wish I had my own little like taste tester here at home so they could be like, mmm, delicious, or anything like that. Hopefully they don't sound like Cookie Monster. But the cool thing about the scraper is it's got kind of a cup-like shape to it. And let's see. Yeah, so we're just going to keep blending this up. But it's got a cup-like shape, so um, it's almost like a scoopula. Uh, I stole that from a friend of mine, but it's like a scoopula. And you just sit here and not quite whisk it, but you're going to stir it around and it kind of grabs everything. Especially if you're talking about um, like the bowls, they kind of have those nooks and crannies in them. And I just like this because um, for those of you that bake and do breads and stuff, when it says to fold something in or mousse, uh, you got to fold it in. Well, it helps the folding a lot better. Alright, so we're going to mix that until well done, or until well blended. I'm going to check on the chocolate real quick. So that's not quite, so we'll do another 30 seconds on the chocolate. And then we're going to pour this batter into the rock crock. And the other cool thing about the batter, or about the spoonula, is it does a really good job at emptying out bowls and everything. So what we'll do is we'll give it a couple more round whisks. Sorry you have to see my uh, my arms, but you know, it is what it is. Alright, so we're going to spoon that right into the everyday rock crock. And it just barely covers, it's probably about an inch on the bottom of the everyday rock crock. So. Uh, I'll show you that in just a second. And I really try on these Whip It Up Wednesdays, I try not to do too much prep, so I'm sorry for some of the downtime, but I really want to show you that we can make today kind of unhealthy food, but mainly healthy meals and dinners using a lot of our Pamper Chef tools that cut the time down just drastically. Um, and so I'm aiming at no more than 15 to 20 minute videos. Uh, hopefully today's is a little bit shorter than that uh, because we're making cakes so not so healthy. <laughs> so we're going to just kind of mix this around, make sure it covers the bottom of the pan. Make it nice and even. While I'm doing that, I'm also going to try to multitask here. Alright, we're almost done on the chocolate there, so we're going to go another 30 seconds on high for that chocolate. Alright, this guy looks like he's almost done. And again, it's one of those times where I just wish I could just, but I can't because I'll get really sick. So, if anyone ever wants to come and help me out of Whip It Up Wednesday, you're welcome to. Hey Chris, hey Diane, hey Sherry. Alright, I'm going to wash my hands real quick. Alright, so we've got the chocolate and the silicone prep bowl all nice and melted, and that's going to be at the very end. So we're going to put it in here. It says four to five minutes. So we're going to go four and a half, and we'll check on it afterwards. And while we do that, I'm going to talk to you about some of the other stuff that we have today. So, along with our silicone prep bowls, which one of the things that I love about them is they have this little spout. Yeah, there you go. You can see that little spout on them. And so, if I wanted to drizzle something, all I have to do is kind of close so you see that, and then I just drizzle. And you'll see me do that um, when we do the um, finishing touches, if you may. And then, like I said, um, so our spoonula, see if I can get a, a cleaner shot of this. Got chocolate all over it, and this is where I just really want to lick it. But so you can kind of see it's got that cupped shape to it, um, so it really kind of digs and then folds. So making mousse is really, really easy using our um, 
mixed in scraper. And again, for those of you that just joined, our scrapers are uh, free for as long as you purchase an order for $75 or more um, sometime this month. This month being February. Um, so, hey Michael, hey Tiffany, hey Adrian, thanks for coming by. Um, so the other thing that I really like to use, and um, I have a little fun thing, this is called our manual food processor. I've named him Manuel because it's more fun to name things. Um, so we've got three graham crackers. I forgot to list that in, in the ingredients. So I'm just going to kind of cut those up a little bit, break them down. And our manual food processor has a nice little silicone ring. You can see great shot there. A nice little silicone ring. And so as long as it's not dirty on my counter, which it's almost always dirty, it's got a real good non-slip. So you can kind of see I'm putting some muscle and leaning into that one. Um, it's also got a three-sided blade. Uh, for those of you that own like blenders and stuff, this is similar to the Ninja blade, not quite. Um, and it's got, they're really, really sharp, so I'm not even going to show you because I'll end up cutting myself knowing me. So what we'll do is, because I did this backwards, <laughs> still getting used to this thing. All right, so we're going to put the blade, and it's just three parts. It's the base with that silicone ring, the blade, and then the top. And the top is the manual part. So I'm going to put these back in here. And then basically a lot of our stuff that has this pump design is great because you can store it. It's quite sleek. If Again, doing the Amazon thing, this is how big it is. Um, so it's got this little pump. And as hopefully you'll see, as I pump it, it kind of the blades go around. So I can get this to whatever. And Manuel likes to balance. See? That's why his name is Manuel. Alright, so I'm going to lock it back in place. Hands off, everything's good. And you can kind of see, they're starting to grind up. I didn't want to talk and grind at the same time. So um, we're going to go to town again and anyone who wants to dance along with Manuel is welcome to. Hey Mary Catherine, hey Alicia, thanks for coming. Alright. Mary Catherine, I know you're a dancer, come on, dance along. If I had music, I would play it right now. was very quiet but still nice and quick and easy and I've got those graham crackers down to a powder so how cool is that and I like my graham crackers a little crunchy so you can see I was able to kind of fine-tune it so if I went to the store and instead of buying this box of graham crackers oh you just got an armpit shot I'm sorry instead of buying this box of graham crackers which cost me we'll call it two bucks because I don't remember um, and I wanted to get that fine without using a huge bulky actual food processor. So look at this thing compared to the manual food processor. So I could have done that in here. It would have been a whole lot louder. As soon as the, the spinner goes, it's a lot harder to control how uh, fine those graham cracker crusts are. And look at how big and bulky this is versus just the manual food processor. So again, something to consider. Obviously, I still have a manual food, or a regular food processor. But to be completely honest, I have not taken that out of there other than for this time in almost a year. So I really haven't used it that much ever since I really got my manual food processor. So we've got the graham crackers done, and I just heard the cake go off. So for those of you that are kind of newer to baking, my trusty little cake tester, which is called a knife, <laughs> I'm gonna grab my cake out, and again, it's been in here for five minutes, and I can handle, um, I can hold on to the handles really well, so it's not super hot. And you just want to slide the the tester in, so today in my knife, and you just want it to come out nice and clean, which it did. So the cake is done, and we'll look at what the next step is. All right, so now I'm going to start my broiler because I have the the um, toaster oven style, so it doesn't have to be prepared or heat up too much. And then I'm going to 
crack open this bag of marshmallows, which, by the way, I'm allowed to eat these, so you know I'm having one. Yep, I just did that. Alrighty, so we're going to have this marshmallow today. Oh, I mean, we're going to put the marshmallows on top. We're not going to need the whole bag, I promise. So it says to organize these in a nice thin layer on top of the cake. Has anyone out there ever played Chubby Bunny? Chubby Bunny is one of my favorite, like just fun, make a fool of yourself and videotape it type of games. Um, and for those of you that haven't played it, I would highly recommend get it with some friends. And all it is is you take um, these big old marshmallows and you stuff one in your mouth at a time and you say Chubby Bunny. And those of you that have played the game know that Oh, Alicia's played it. So, Alicia, what's your chubby bunny number? How many did you did you fit before you couldn't say chubby bunny anymore? Because my chubby bunny number is about nine. Um, which, when I had done it, everyone's like, oh my gosh. And now I have friends that are like in the double digits, so I feel like I need to go back and try to do a chubby bunny and see if I can get it a little bit higher. So, all we're doing is getting these... Marshmallows, because what's a s'more without a marshmallow, right? We're going to get these all packed in here. There we go. And guess what? <laughs> I have one more left over. Chubby bunny. There you go. Oh, Alicia's is five. Hey, Alicia, you and I are going to have some chubby bunny. We're going to have to get together and see if we can get it. <laughs> I bet you you were like a little kid when you had five. But it is a lot of fun to, to do Chubby Bunny or play Chubby Bunny. So, what we're going to do is we're going to throw this into, into the oven. If you have a conventional oven, just make sure you preheat your broiler ahead of time. My broiler is nice and hot right now. So, I'm just going to throw it in there. And it says 30 to 60 minutes. Or, sorry. <laughs> 30 to 60 seconds. So, we're going to go on the 60 second because I don't know how many of you, of you guys really like your uh, marshmallows charred. But I like mine nice and toasty. I don't like them barely touched. So, um, the recipe says under the broiler for 30 to 60 seconds. And since I'm talking, I went ahead and set the timer because I can never count to 60 seconds very easily. Alright, so while that's under the broiler, I am going to show you another cool trick that we can do with the silicone prep bowls. So this is the 4 cup silicone prep bowl. So, remember I said that the recipe only called for about half, it was one and three quarters cup of the cake mix box. So what do you do with the other half? Ha! You make it. So I made, and this is going to be the first time I've done this, so let's see how it turns out. Well, this is the first time that I've done it with this recipe, I should say. Um, I used our silicone prep bowl, and all I did was mix up the remainder of the mix. So basically split all of the ingredients in half. And then I poured it into the silicone prep bowl. And then I added three heaping spoonfuls of this rich and creamy frosting from Betty Crocker to make a lava cake. So now we're going to see if we can make this a lava cake by turning it over and kind of tap around the edges, squeeze it a little bit. Oh, I feel it coming. Oh, does anyone see that? Look at that. It's kind of starting to lava. So for those of you that can't see it, there we go. So now is the time that I really wish I could eat chocolate because I so want to try this. But I can tell you I've done a vanilla lava cake before and it was amazing. One of my favorite ones to do is I take vanilla cake and I put it in there and then I heap in either uh, strawberry cream cheese. I love the funfetti. That's one of my favorite um, things. Oh no! Well, we didn't want a fire, but we got one. <laughs> I was so afraid this was going to happen. This is what happens when I talk. Okay. So, remember I said I like mine charred. Um, <laughs> a little embarrassing. Mine's a little too charred. So, when they say 60 seconds, they mean 60 seconds. Um, I'll be right back. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. 
sorry. I'm gonna go. <laughs> Everything's okay. My house isn't burning down. I promise.